Yo, what is going on, you silly scythers? Today, we're gonna be playing a little bit of Expanded with this Mew lock box deck. Um, so it does involve a Mew and Mewtwo in Expanded, where we reduce their hand with Let Loose Mars Shadow, and then we, mar we try and Mars and Unfair GX on the same turn, giving them a zero card, not a zero card hand, taking away any of the good cards in their hand, hopefully. Try and mars it down to three then unfair take away any good cards and then we chip chip ice axe to give them a bad card out of those three and then on the next turn we start swinging with the emerald break from the mega rayquaza ex and then hiker and keep giving them bad cards while we knock out the few pokemon they have in play or well, that's the idea anyways uh the deck only plays dce so we just need two dces on a mewtwo First DC to use the unfair. Second DCE allows us to use the Emerald Break. We got Quaking Punch in here for certain one. We don't quite one shot them. Might want to stop them from potentially playing any item cards they have. So we got that Quaking Punch in here for that. Um, and yeah, that's it. That's all I got to say about the deck. Skyfield, so we can fill our bench to be able to utilize the Emerald Break. Um, and then yeah, I got a bunch of Shamans to Dene for our draw support. And then like I said, yeah, let loose also draw support as well as disrupting their hand. And then the rest of the list is pretty much as turbo as it can be. You know, Trainer's Man, Ultra Ball, Treasures, find the Muse, find the Leleys to find our supporters, and also find the Mars Shadows, super important, obviously. Um, and yeah, that's all I got to say on the list. Let's go ahead and get into some games and see if we can't uh, ruin some people's days. So we are up against Turbo Dark, and that is an attached pass from our opponent. So that is pretty darn good if, uh, for us, if I do say so myself, so... Um, yeah, we'll see where this goes. We're still gonna go... I mean... Now I'm kind of unsure, man. We could just go with Attach. Bench this guy. Ultra Ball away these two. And then... Grab a Shaman. And then just go with the Hiker immediately. I guess if they just go Attach, Pass. Um, go ahead and just try and Hiker lock him off the start. Um, feed him a Max Elixir. I mean, they can't use it if they don't have another Pokemon. They haven't shown us another Pokemon yet, so... I kind of like that, yeah. And we'll just go into Quaking Punch, actually, even... If we can get the... T All right. Um... Well, we can Hiker Lock for a while. I guess it is going to be the Sky Return here. Um, and I think I'm just going to go into the Shaman so then I can Sky Return the... Well, we don't... We, there's no way for us to draw cards out of the hand still. Uh, I'm just going to go into the Mewtwo again. Because um, I would prefer to Quaking Punch if we can top deck next turn. Hopefully we top deck next turn out of this situation. There's another attach active, and I assume, yep, there's the pass. All right, so we could get Marsh Shadow with the treasure, but I don't want to get Marsh Shadow. There is Lele in the deck. Um, but I don't really want to Sycamore away the hand, but if we win on the following turn, it doesn't really matter if we Sycamore away the hand. So we're going to go with the Sycamore, I guess. Get rid of this. We have the Chip Chip to use instead of the Hiker on this turn. So we can go... Lele for the, well, it's going to be a Mars, actually. No Sycamores in the deck. All right, Mars is going to have to do then. We have the Chip Chip to respond. Mars for two. DCE. Um, we have the Chip Chip to check the top deck here. Going to give them the Dark Energy, of course. Um, and then we are going to... Uh, energy Drive, actually. Energy Drive is kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to hold the other Mewtwo. Yeah, energy drive. All right, that works, actually. We can hit them for uh, 80 here, and if they attach another energy, we can energy drive again, and we actually just win the game. Uh, so, yeah, energy drive works out super well here. Lock their top deck once again. Two good cards that they would have top deck. The computer search, the Sycamore. There's the Night Spear, and we're going to get the dub here. Um, because our opponent initially opens up Dead Drying, um, but if we hadn't gone with the Hiker and the Chip Chip, they actually would have top deck. So, locking them out here in this first one, getting this quick dub over a Turbo Dark, and we're on to the next. All right, another Turbo Dark. We'll see if our opponent doesn't put up a little bit more of a fight here in uh, in this one. Um, they at least started off with a Trainer's Mail, but I think it failed. Yeah, Trainer's Mail failed. They still got the Cynthia, though. All right. Our hand, nothing uh, nothing too ridiculously good. Nothing to write home about, that's for sure. And uh, we usually can't give Turbo Dark more than one turn. Just their first turn uh, before we have to start making plays. So, got... Gonna need a good top deck or a very good Mars here to get going. The deck can start going really fast out of nowhere, though. As long as we're able to get something going. There is a Giratina Garchomp. No idea what that is for. Um, interesting card in our opponent's deck there, the Giratina Garchomp. Um, yeah. Yeah, the Mars is gonna have to, to help us out here or uh, something, man. Something. We're, we're, we're currently in trouble. We'll see what our top deck is. 
the ray so it is gonna have to be the mars to help us out there's a treasure for let loose there's a lily out of our opponent's hand i wonder if they even have anything left um gonna treasure away the ray we're gonna grab ourselves the let loose and hope this let loose is pretty good and can carry us uh from here um Skyfield and let loose. We don't know if our opponent has another state uh, supporter or not in hand, so we do just want to go with the let loose here. We definitely need some more stuff if we can get it. That is not going to be good enough. We do have another let loose in the deck, and we found a battle compressor, so we're getting closer now. We want this in the discard pile. Did we end up with a ray in the discard pile? We did. We don't need another ray. Then we want egg and egg, I think. Um, and then we can treasure away the Guzma. Grab our second let loose. Uh, probably just go ahead and bench our Lele, actually, to be honest. Um, eh, do I want the bench space? I actually don't really care. I don't think I do. Um, nope, not gonna grab a supporter and then let loose again. Looking for ultra balls, looking for shamans. There's an ultra ball. There's a via seeker. Don't need the via seeker. I actually don't want it in the hand. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of that here. Uh, get that guy in the discard pile. Shaman set up for six. Digging for that DCE now. That's all we need to pull off the unfair. We would also like a chip chip. Uh, if we don't find the chip chip, we can roll without it. Um, ideally like a chip chip though chip chip would be very nice um can't use the mars again this turn um, might have to leave them with a stadium in their hand so i think we get rid of this with the treasure could grab another mewtwo to put down we have let's see six it would be seven we'd have one bench spot left but we have a mewtwo in hand so that'd be eight uh we still have the dene left though so i guess we don't want to grab uh anything here just go bench Mewtwo, set up for another four. Looking for the DCE so we can pull off the unfair. And that's not it, but we're not done yet. Battle Compressor, once again, we're going to get rid of Ray, Toad, I think, um, and the Sycamore. Want to leave both Hikers in the deck for sure. Three DCE in the deck. Going to get rid of those three. Um, we can Ultra Ball for the Dedenne as well. I'm going to go ahead and use the eggs here because if the... I can't think of anything the Transmail would give me where I wouldn't, but... Um, just because I can't come up with it now doesn't mean it doesn't exist. So we're gonna go like this first. We're gonna Ultra Ball for the Adene. Increase the chances of the Adene. Of the Trainer's Mail finding something useful. A Choice Band would be nice for later on. Just something that we can play down this turn. Another Battle Compressor would be nice. The Computer Search is super ideal here, actually. Um, yeah, we're gonna take the Computer Search here. I think we are gonna data change anyways, but I'm not 100% sure. We could just go unfair. But I would like to have a chip chip alongside this as well. So once again, I'm going to go with the eggs. I'm going to search through my deck first. Then I'll decide if I want to just grab DCE and go with the unfair. Or if we want to like grab, we could grab the, there's three treasure that can find chip chip. So I think I want the DCE here. Um, yeah. And then attach that here. And then we've already played our supporter for the turn, right? Yeah. So then dead a change. <laughs> going deep. We want to see a chip chip here. Oh, not no chip chip yet. Let's see. Two hikers in the deck. We're going to leave the hikers in there. I think we get rid of... Maybe just these three. Uh, yikes. Uh, we could get the Lele out with the Ultra Ball, actually, instead. And then get rid of... I think we have to. We want to leave everything else in the deck. Yeah, just get rid of the Mew Mewtwo's. Um... Propagation twice here. We're going to Ultra Ball get the Lele out of the deck. And then we will go Unfair GX to end our turn. Hopefully this Trainer's Mail finds us a Chip Chip. Very good chance. We're going to be down to a 9-card deck here uh, before we do the Trainer's Mail. Um, and then we're hoping to top deck a Hiker on the next turn. There's the Chip Chip to set it up. Um, so yeah, Chip Chip here. Top 3. We will give our opponent the... No, we don't want to save that energy. I think we want to give them the choice band here. Yeah, I'm going with the choice band here. And then we're hoping they don't have three good cards in hand when we go in with this unfair GX. Uh, unfair GX. Okay, so we need to take away the Via Seeker almost certainly here. Yeah. So the Via Seeker has to go. The Guzma. We have a float zone, so I think I can leave the Guzma. Uh, we would give them a choice band on top. Uh, I don't want him to have this. Um, I don't want him to bump the stadium. So I think I can leave the double dragon here with the Guzma. Um, let me see. What does this guy do? 190. He could snipe this and then 190 it. So we'd have to top deck a choice band. We have a good chance to top deck a choice band, though. Uh, and we could just sky return if not. 
before the turn. Um, so I think I'm going to leave him the Double Dragon and the Guzma. I don't want him to bump our Stadium. I don't want to give him via Secret. Yeah, we're going to take away those two here. Uh, into the discard pile, and then over to our opponent's turn. They can Guzma, but they can't trap anything because we got the Float Stone. Um, and then we could just Sky Return for the turn, do 30 damage, send up something else with Float Stone. We're kind of having to bet that their top deck is trash here, though. I, that's kind of how this one is going to break down, I think. We're not going to be able to chain the Hikers like we would like to. Yeah, they're just going to bring this guy up, and we'll see if they Calamitous Slash. They could GG end this guy, and then in that case, we would just go Attach Active, Quaking Punch. Uh, which would be fine with me um, if they GG end this. Um, nope, just gonna be the slash. We got the float stone for that. Or we could just sky return our active Mewtwo even actually. We'll see what our top deck is. It is the trainer's mail. Um, so that should give us a choice band here. No, oh, almost no choice band. I was like, no, but there we go. Choice band. Uh, we don't get to get the hiker combo off, unfortunately. Super close. Not quite, but we're gonna draw three prize cards here, and our opponent has pretty much nothing set up. Um, so this should be enough for us to win the game, even if they were to top deck something here. This is where you want to use the Hiker and be like, alright, now you can't have anything on this following turn either. Um, but yeah, we did not quite draw into that combination of cards this time around. A little bit short on the ideal follow-up after the first turn combo, but uh, pretty close. We're just one card short here in the end, and they can still just not top deck something useful. Um, we'll see, oh, just the Mew Mewtwo. Uh, they could, they have one more turn though, unless we top deck via Seeker, then we will have the Guzma knock out Mew Mewtwo to end the game. Uh, see what our top deck is. It is the Hiker. That should be good enough, uh, to give them something terrible here. Uh, and go ahead and give them the Max Elixir. And that's going to be it. That's going to be the game. A little bit more play from our opponent this time, uh, in this one. But in the end, not going to be enough. We know what their top deck is. They have a zero card hand and that's how this deck works. This is, uh... Super unenjoyable deck to play against. Uh, can be pretty fun to play though, I have to admit. I do enjoy playing the deck. I like it. I like playing decks like this sometimes. It's like a very, uh, it's a, like a puzzle. You get one big turn of a puzzle, set yourself up best for your following turn, and then hope your opponent has no answer. Or you kind of make it make sure they almost have no answer. Um, yeah, that's gonna be another one in the bag. Another Turbo Dark down. Let's see if we can't pick up another one. Second here in this one, up against the Weezing here and Expanded. It seems like there's a lot of Weezing running around and Expanded. They do have the Foul Odor, but not much else. Um, so, should be pretty good for us. We'll find out here in just a second. Um, I could set up for one, or I could just go for the, the Sycamore here. Um, could go Bench, set up for one. It seems like it would be better just to go for the Sycamore. So, we're just going to go for the Sycamore here. Um, we don't even really have to let loose our opponent in this one because they did just go draw a nest ball pass. I mean, it's possible they have a Weezing and a supporter in their hand, and that's why they're just kind of chilling. Um, so we'll hopefully figure out here in just a second what they got going on. Um, I'm going to go with the Trainer's Mail first. Another Ultra Ball. Okay, so now we're going to go uh, Ultra Ball away, Hiker and Seismitoad. Grab the... Huh. Honchcrow. And then Ultra Ball away these two. Because it's possible their hand is dead, so we're just going to play like their hand is dead as well. Um, I don't want to reset their hand and make it harder for me uh, than it has to be. This, this, set up for six. Um, and we will see here shortly what they had going on. So we did Sycamore, so we do want a Chip Chip here. That can get us a Chip Chip. And now we can go Computer Search away this and this. Although maybe we wanted to keep the Lele. Um, grab the Chip Chip to control our opponent's top deck. We have two Via Seekers left to use Hikers. Um, and we do need to dig deeper for what's it called? I don't think we ever need to use Mars, so we can just like ditch the Mars here, um, fail it, chip chip our opponent's top deck, give them a wheezing. We do have the unfair boy in the discard pile set up again for six, just in case we have to end up giving our opponent some way to prevent to stop abilities. Um, I mean, it would be fine. Really not that big of a deal if we give them a way to stop abilities like they can put down oh if they put down like a silent lab or something i guess that would be great right yeah i take it back we definitely want to keep digging find our i don't know sky fuel in case we need in case we like need to leave something like a silent lab or a power plant in their hand if they have something like that um set up again uh just keep going four more cards here one two three four all right we're all set up for next turn i'm gonna play this battle compressor as well though. i'm sure there's stuff to thin out of the deck yep maybe the battle compressor let me take a look could go with the Guzma, but I think the Battle Compressor uh, should be the thing to go. No, probably the Mysterious Treasure, actually. Okay, 
and now we know what their top deck is we have two of those for two hikers unfair gx take a look at the hand they did have a wheezing but they did not have much else um they can confuse reyes next turn um and we're just gonna have to kind of deal with that let's get rid of we, i wouldn't even mind if they kept the wheezing let's get rid of the energy actually let's get rid of the two counter energies um we are giving a wheezing off the top anyway so let's just get rid of the two counters here they can hard retreat and uh foul odor if they want um it might get a little uh tricky for us from there but we should be fine i think overall we could have not attach this so we could have put floats on here but there's the evolve so it looks like they're gonna go with the side wave oh they're just gonna go retreat and hit with wheezing uh this is definitely fine with me i don't mind this at all <laughs> the hit with the wheezing the weakness does rack it up to 80 but uh we have them under lock here we have the hiker next turn they currently have a wheezing in hand we know exactly what their hand is we have a mega ray in the discard pile so we're just gonna go via seeker hiker and a hiker away their top deck hiker control their top deck um opponent's deck we're gonna give them something useless like this spell tag and that's it that's game we've done it attach active and then emerald break for the knockout here going down 300 damage goodbye wheezing yeah and that should do it um we know our opponent's top deck is spell tag we know the card in their hand is wheezing solid turn one lock uh, i mean we could have let loose them if we had to um for us thankfully for us our opponent just went and draw a pass i mean it's possible they had like wheezing plus supporter in hand check their hand no supporter they did have that wheezing um but that is not enough to win the game here for them one wheezing is not going to do it despite the weakness that mew mewtwo has um we'll let them think about this one for a second if they want to um but this one is basically over just need our opponent to pass or concede and there's the concede so another dub here for the handlock just, uh some kind of mewtwo box here from our opponent we'll see what they've actually got going on here in just a second there's a latios they got the rainbow down uh, so this is already looking kind of scary if they like tag purge us on the next turn i think they're playing welder so yeah if they have welder it'll get a little scary here but whoa another dead start from our opponent uh we just keep cruising through these man this is uh almost not fun at all all right um attach active mb2 comes down i'm going to <clears throat> there's mail first here actually i don't really want to get off that to pay on the trainer's mail compressor so now we can like compressor away a sycamore like Honchcrow, Egg, Sycamore, I guess. Sounds pretty good to me. Boom, boom, boom. Treasure away, Mega Ray. Grab nothing. Then I'm going to set up for three. Not going to bench the Toad. Probably going to Sycamore him away. Then we're about to hit him with that Unfair here in just a second. <clears throat> Got the DCE. We could go for the Mars play now, actually. I think I am going to go for the Mars. May as well make it our uh, our lock a little bit better. So I'm going to Ultra Ball away these two. Grab myself uh, the Lele for the Mars. Yeah, I think I'll go Lele for Mars. Save the Via Seeker. And then com Computer Search will be for like the second DC on the next turn. Um, oh no, we need to go Computer Search for a Chip Chip here. Um, well, we'll Mars first and then see what happens. Yeah, I'm actually a little bit scrambled on this one. I could have done this a little bit better. I completely forgot Mars was a card. Not going to lie. All right, there's the Chip Chip. So now we can Chip Chip control the top. Um, give them a cargo. We might discard a supporter out of their hand. And then, yeah, here we go. Uh, unfair GX. Ooh, all right, so we're giving them a cargo. Definitely want to take away the welder and the switch. I think we just want to leave them with just the fire crystal in hand. Um, yeah, take away the welder and the switch. They can, uh, clear vision next turn if they want to, but that's not going to do a whole lot because we can still use Emerald Break. So we should have this one pretty much locked up <laughs> once again. Looking pretty good for us here. We can Hiker for two turns. We can go grab another basic and then knock out two Mewtwo's in a row. Uh, yeah, so we can go like this. We draw, uh, Compressor again. This guy, this guy. Probably a Compressor. Um, yeah, and the last compressor sounds fine to me. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, I'm going to bring the... Well, let's start with the hiker, actually. We definitely want to hiker lock him still. Let's have a look. Um, yeah, his deck can feed them the switch. They play the Pokemon catcher. All right. That's different. Um, so we can bring the egg back. Computer search away the egg in the sky field. 
grab ourselves another DCE here. And then we're doing what? Uh, three, 150, so then we can bench this. Uh, nope. Uh, we can propagate. It'd be a seeker for hiker for next turn, but I don't even think we need that. We're just gonna go attach active, bench egg, and emerald break. Yeah, so we have had a, we've hit a couple games where our opponent just kind of dead draws initially. I feel like people people's expanded lists just aren't really up to par. Something has to be up, right? Like, what's going on here? Uh, but we make it so that the, even though they aren't drawing that great, uh, cut off their top deck, cut away their options in hand, make it pretty much impossible for them to ever make a comeback, and we just uh, clean them up. Yep, there's a concession from our opponent, and that's going to do it for this video on the Mewtwo Box Handlock deck. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um might actually be the strongest handlock deck in expanded who knows still a lot of things to explore in expanded but it's definitely up there it definitely works right does what it's supposed to do doesn't mean all the matchups are great um but it does do what it's supposed to do it's a pretty cool deck definitely recommend trying it out if you like making it so your opponent can't play the game and that's it if you like the video give it a like if you enjoyed the content be sure to subscribe leave your thoughts in the comment section down below have a good day thanks for watching and peace